Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. Today uh, I'm going to do a little video about uh, UCG Ultra and dual WAN failover with T-Mobile home internet. Uh, this is what you get from T-Mobile. You just plug it in, activate it with the app, and then you have uh, Wi-Fi. It comes with the Wi-Fi info on the back, um, but it also has on the back here two uh, one gig ethernet connections and I have a ethernet cable running over here to the secondary WAN port on this UCG Ultra. And I got about three out of five bars here and I'll test it here on the computer once I switch over to that, but we'll see how fast uh, the internet speed is. Um, but with T-Mobile Home Internet, they have two plans. They have the one main plan that's like $50 a month and you get unlimited data. And then they also have another plan here that's $20 a month that's for home internet backup, specifically for backing up your WAN connection. So if your WAN connection goes out, this will take over. But the only problem with that is you only have 130 gigs of data. But, you know, if your main internet connection goes out, let's say your wire goes down or it gets cut in the yard, you still have internet and this thing will automatically swap over to T-Mobile's home internet for you. So I'll get it set up here on the computer and I'll show you how to set up dual WAN setup on here, uh, here in a second. Well, I got my laptop all hooked up here to the Cloud Gateway Ultra. I got it hardwired since this doesn't put out any Wi-Fi. Um, so you have to hardwire to it unless you hook up the access point. And for $130, I think it's a real good deal, especially getting into Ubiquity and a router that supports dual WAN failover. Or you can uh, set it up where it divides traffic evenly between the two. But I have mine set up as failover. So the way you set it up here is I'm already logged into it. Uh, you just go to its IP address. If you don't know its IP address, you just hardwire to it. And then you type in IP config. And it's always listed under the default gateway. So mine's 10.0.2.1. Um, by default, it'll be 192.168.1.1. Um, I just changed mine because I like to be different. So once you get to its interface here, you go down to settings behind my head. And then you go to internet. And when you first go here, port 4 secondary will be disabled. The secondary WAN. So you just go here and click on port 4. That'll enable it. You just hit save. And here is where you can change the failover only or distributed where it splits it evenly up between the two. But I have mine set up as failover only. So to test that out, I have um, my server and the data center. Uh, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that video. It's a real good video after this one. But I am connected through WireGuard right here. I would show it, but show my WAN IP address at the data center. So I'm going to ping that server in the data center. And you just do a dash T to make it continuous. And you gotta make sure you type in ping. And as you can see, I'm getting replies back from my server in the data center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unhook AT&T's uh, internet here. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I'm gonna unhook it. And it stops for like a second. You get one request timeout. And as you can see, it keeps on going along. If you're just watching like a YouTube video, you probably won't even notice that. But if you're on like a Skype call or something, you'd probably notice a little bit of a blip, but it would still um, be connected for you and it would work for you. So if you have a storm and it takes out the wire and you work from home, you know, this is a great option because you still have internet and you, know, you won't have to worry about your work fussing at you because you don't have internet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and plug AT&T back up. The light slid up, and as you can see here on the ping, didn't even change it any. But if I unhook T-Mobile Home Internet here, no difference. Still pinging it. And the pings were a little bit higher with T-Mobile. They're around 73 millisecond, and with AT&T, they're around 28, 30 millisecond. So let me plug T-Mobile back in, and that didn't change it because it's still using AT&T as the primary WAN on here. So if you go to Unified Devices and click on here, Port Manager, T-Mobile Secondary, AT&T is Primary. And you can change it uh, for whatever you have set up. You just move them between the two ports. And T-Mobile's uh, internet, I think they have a pretty good deal. I think it's like $20 a month. 
for backup uh, internet. You only get 130 gigs of data, so hopefully they restore your main internet connection pretty fast. But you know, if you work from home or if you're a gamer um, or if you're a YouTuber like me, you know, twenty dollars a month uh, isn't a whole lot. To always make sure you have good, reliable internet. That's not to say cell towers can't go down too in a storm, but it's good to always have you know a backup two points of connection. And like I said in the intro, I'm gonna do a speed test on this T-Mobile home internet, see how fast it is. I think I got about two or three bars out of five on this thing. And as you can see, WAN failover active. So I went ahead and unplugged the other cable. So now I'm just strictly on T-Mobile home internet and see how quick it is. Um, 70, 80 megabits per second. Um, when I first got it, I was getting around this 100 megabits per second, which isn't too bad for uh, internet. We'll end that and we will go to the speed test app here. We'll click on that and see how fast that is. And 15 megs down and 18 megs up, 51 millisecond ping. I'm not sure why it's so much slower. I guess hitting different servers, you know, variances coming off the cell tower. Um, but that's still better than nothing, especially if your main internet connection goes down. You still have Wi-Fi for your whole house. So in my opinion, this is a pretty cool setup here, this UCG Ultra and the T-Mobile Home Internet. Um, T-Mobile Home Internet backup, like I said, is about 20 bucks a month. And this UCG Ultra, I think it was like 120. So if you're just starting to get into Ubiquity and you want dual WAN failover, uh, this is probably what I'd start out with. And when I switched over to just the T-Mobile home internet, this UCG Ultra sent me a notification on my phone saying it switched over to the secondary WAN connection. I'll try to show it here. So that's cool. That lets you know you switched over to your secondary WAN connection so you can figure out what happened to your primary. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So go ahead and share the video and I'll go ahead and see you guys on the next one.